Hello. That is my sister over there who would like me to inform the entirety of the internet that she does not spend her entire life doing puzzles and also does not want the internet to see how messy our room is, which is why I'm keeping the filming from this level up. Today I went and saw Iron Man 3 at the cinema, which made me very happy because I'd wanted to see it for ages and it was brilliant and I loved it. What was also exciting was there, an, there was an advert in the cinema for ITV and there was a couple of there were, sorry, a couple of good clips of David Tennant and Broadchurch and it made me very happy um, to see everyone's faces that big on a massive screen, which was great. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about the newest episode, Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS, because new episode and I have to talk about it. I quite liked it. And I'm always going to say I quite like it because the day that I turn around and say I hated that episode is the day that a small part of my soul will tear away and die. It's like making horcruxes, only it's not the killing that rips my soul, it's admitting that actually I hated it. So I'm always predisposed to say I like an episode. There were a couple of things I didn't. I mean, I like seeing more of the TARDIS, but I didn't... There were a couple of moments where I was just a bit like, why did you do that? Seriously. Like, um, the bit where um, Cl the Doctor wanted to, what is it, turn it down to the TARDIS down to like minimal settings or whatever it was. I can't remember exactly. I've only seen it once. And Clarissa did it because I'm a girl. And he went, no. And then he gave her a look. Look that clearly said, yeah, it is. And I was thinking, hmm, don't like that. But then when I've ever really liked anything like that, the problem wasn't that. It was the fact that Clara did not immediately like smack him in his head and say, what are you doing? If that had been me and I'd said, is it because I'm a girl? And they went, no. And then giving me a look, I would have at least smacked him on the arm and gone, oi, sort of Donna style, I suppose. Martha was going to say, like Donna, but she doesn't want to be on the internet, much like Donna. But she didn't, and it made me cross, because that's that's really annoying. And the fact that the Doctor said it makes me cross, because I do love the Eleventh Doctor. I really do love him, because, you know, he's the Doctor. But there's, just when I'm getting to really like him and what he's doing, something like that will get said, and it will just leave me thinking really unjustifiably, probably. If you were ten, you wouldn't have done that. If you were three, you wouldn't have done that. If you were eight, you wouldn't have done that. Maybe he would, and maybe it's just the writing and everything. It just gives me another reason to compare him to other Doctors and not like him as much as them. And I don't want, really want that, because actually I want to like him as much as the others because we're all the same person. And when things like that happen, I don't like that. Ah, ha, I've already seen a few posts about this on Tumblr, and I was glad that some people were on the same wavelength as me. When the Doctor was describing Clara and he described her as this tall and feisty, if I hear another person described as feisty, then I'm gonna like grab a dictionary and shove it down a writer's throat. If I had to describe any companion as feisty, I'd go to Donna immediately. Because to my mind, and this might be a different thing than what other people think, but to my mind, feisty is not being kind of cute and, you know, sarcastic and a bit sexy at the same time. Feisty is being, you know, arguing and, you know, standing up for what you think and not not going down without a fight. And I've looked at a couple of dictionary definitions on this because actually I was that annoyed that I actually went and did a little bit of research. Actual real dictionaries as well, not just internet ones, although there were a few internet ones. Yes, all of the companions of since about Donna, I suppose, have been feisty in inverted commas I'm putting it. There's a difference between having a companion described as it by a writer and having that and having the doctor actually say it. It's like, oh she's so feisty, it's great. No it's not. When that's your only attribute. And I'm not saying that about Clara because I actually really like Clara at the moment and I like her. But if they keep making her you're feisty, you go over here and sit in the feisty corner where we put all the feisty companions and we'll put you over here. No. No. I just it incensed me and then I went on the internet as you do and on Tumblr and saw that many other people were feeling the same way and that made me happy. So it annoyed me because I actually quite like the episode and the idea of the episode and the fact that you got to hear the Night Doctor's voice, which I was very excited about. We we were, weren't we Martha? She says very in a very unenthusiastic voice. I grinned. She grinned apparently. The internet can't see it so it didn't happen. Hearing the Night Doctor's voice was exciting and seeing inside the tides was exciting and it's annoying me because th I liked a lot of it but you have to pick out the bad things and talk about them more because if you just spend the entire time talking about everything you like that you liked about it you're not getting any sort of good criticism so 
it was also solved by one of those paradoxical it happened already and you can see that it happened like someone having to do something that was already done in order to make it happen which then made them realize they had to do it, which made it happen if i can actually make any sense out of that apart from that i've got no other doctor who related news to report so um hopefully my ranting has neither made you angry at me or at doctor who too much although please you know justified well thought out criticism is something we always need more of so I'm gonna say goodbye now. Any other interesting ways for me to sign off? Um... Ah, maybe this will do it. Turn off your light. <laughs>